We're doing a project in school. Um, we are learning about the Olympics and the physics behind the Olympics. and we're studying the spring and how the recurve bow adds more momentum to the arrow once it's shot. The most important thing about shooting a bow and the physics of it is equal opposite reaction. Things are, they have to be in balance. So if I want to send an arrow straight that way and if I'm providing a force in that direction that means that the bow and the arrow are going to jump with a force in that direction. It was pretty cool to see how the physics really played into every aspect of the sport. I'm doing pole vaulting, so that was really good um, for my group because they really explained the physics of pole vaulting and we got to actually watch it in action. And I've never seen it real life, like not even on TV, but it's it's a lot different when you see it happen, so you kind of understand how everything works together and how Newton's laws are applied, and that's what we've been researching. Yeah. It, it was crazy how, how high the men's the men's bar was, and when, when I saw them get, get that high, I w went, wow. <laughs> In the running, I saw some of the runners, they would run and then they'd take like a long stride, and I've seen that in swimming too. And I thought that was like very interesting and in how they could like, you know, just elongate their step just to save like, you know, energy from just having that extra two or three steps. You know, 